Hey, what's up guys? See you boys, Twilight 2 k 7 back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 Real Life Mod episode. Today we're checking out the new updated version of the Dodge Ram 3500. And this thing looks absolutely amazing, guys. So this is going to be replacing the old uh, 3500 that we used to run. And we also have a brand new PJ trailer as well. This thing is a beauty, highly detailed. And it also comes with the 3500 as well, which is pretty awesome. So if you guys would like to check that out, definitely do so. And shout outs to these nutties, one, two, three, for updating and releasing this awesome mod here. So what we're going to do is let's just un or take out the ramps from now. So we're going to go doors, trunk, let the ramps swing down. Very nice. And let's head inside. So today's uh, goal is to actually get the lift kit off of this Silverado and also take the lift kit off of this mega cab ram as well so we're gonna have to take those to our lifted shop which is actually pretty close so it shouldn't take us too long i'll get some of my guys to work on it um here's the old version of the pj trailer as well so we're probably going to be changing out all of these um we have these at pretty much all of our uh shops and garages all over san andreas so we'll probably be getting rid of the old ones and replacing them with the new ones since the new ones are going to be more efficient for what we're going to be hauling. So first thing first, I kind of want to compare the old one to the new one. So let's go ahead and grab this. All right. So here's the old PJ trailer. Let's just pull it out so we can kind of compare the difference. So one noticeable difference is on the old version, the ramps doesn't work. On the new version, the ramps does work. I also like the color as well on the new version. It really looks really good. The wood really looks good. I love it. So it looks like the new version is also going to be longer as well. So let's go ahead and just do a quick side by side so we could just compare. Traffic is probably going to hit me right now. All right, so let's try to get, um, yep. So yeah, we're getting a, a lot uh, larger of a space here. Very nice. As you can see, new trailer looks awesome so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be switching out all of the trailers throughout this week and purchasing all of these new trailers for all of the shops so we could go ahead and put this back for now because we're not going to use this so let's put this back inside So I do want to give a shout out to Lieutenant Husky for hooking us up with the Silverado. He actually made us a new version, which I will be showing you guys later in this episode. And also thank you to Lifted Life as well, who made us another version of the Mega Cab Dually. So I will be showing you both of those versions uh, towards the middle of the video, probably. So let's go ahead and un or load these up on our brand new trailer. It's going to be our first haul with it. Alright, put that up to about right there. I hope we can fit both of them on. I'll, uh, I'll adjust it a little bit more once we uh, get ready to lock it down. So let's grab this one now. Alright guys, so... Um, <laughs> We kind of had to do that in order to uh, get this to fit. That's probably not the uh, proper way to load, but uh, yeah, don't mind that. So I'm going to get this locked down. We're going to make sure we keep and we'll attach to that. Okay, so we have our load locked and ready to go. Um, we, we really barely fit on this thing. I actually thought that we'll be able to fit on this trailer, but I kind of overestimated how big these trucks are so again guys what we're gonna do is take the lift kits off of these trucks today we're gonna take them to our shop get them off and then we'll bring them back when we're done so that will pretty much let us be able to transport trailers a little bit better because we have been having some issues transporting certain trailers with the lifted truck so let's go ahead and get to the shop now Alright guys, so we got the load secured and we are ready to roll. So let's go ahead and head towards our off-road shop now. Now this is going to be a pretty nice and short drive, only about a half a mile. Now 
loving the way this trailer is looking though this thing is awesome so um i think i'm not sure what we're going to be doing for tomorrow's video yet but we do have a lot to do we got to do some towing we got to do some repoing we still got a lot of transportation jobs going on as well so let me know down below in the comment section what you guys would like to see next in the real life mod series these people just be running these red lights like nothing Let's wait for the train. And it's safe. Let's go ahead and pull forward. Okay, so right over there on our left, you guys are going to see the uh, shop for our lifted trucks. Basically, at that shop, we repair trucks as well as install like rims and lift kits and stuff like that on them. So today, it's going to be a little bit different. Instead of installing all of that stuff, we're actually going to be uninstalling it to make these trucks a little bit better at handling um, the trailers that we're trying to haul. All right, guys, so we are here. You guys can see some of the trucks that we have in the uh, showroom. The ones in the showroom are going to be the ones for sale. And then the ones in the back, which you guys will see in about a minute, those are going to be the ones that are getting worked on. So let's, uh, let's pull up right over here so we don't take up any parking spots. And let's start unloading these trucks. Alright, so we're going to try to unload this one without letting the ramp down. <laughs> Let me actually detach it first. So let's use menu just to be safe. I'm going to freeze it, detach it, and then unfreeze it. Alright, let's carefully try to get down. <laughs> I tried to do it slowly, went back up. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's put this back up. So when we take these back to the other shop, I'm probably going to have to use a bigger trailer. But anyway, welcome to our lifted truck shop. We don't even really have a name for this place. If you guys have any good name suggestions let me know in the comment section as you can see we have a lot of stuff we have a whole part warehouse back there uh, we have trucks getting worked on so we got f-350 dually uh, we got dakota we got chevy silverado so we got a lot of trucks getting worked on so let's pull this into bay number one over here so these guys could get to work Alright, so these guys already know what they got to do. Pretty much they're just going to remove all of the lift kits and put on all of the stock suspension. So, but yeah guys, we got a lot of big things going on in here. I'll show you guys the showroom once I come back in. But all the guys are hard at work. Putting in this work. Alright, so for the Silverado, we definitely want to put the uh, ramps down. It's not as lifted as the ram. Plus, we really don't want to damage it when there's no reason to. We kind of had no choice with the ram. So let's let that out. And let's go to hop into the Silverado. And again, we'll do the same thing. So let's freeze it. Detach and unfreeze. Uh oh, it's about to drop. Don't drop, don't drop. Uh, it's probably gonna fall, guys. It's moving. Yeah, it's about to fall off. Up. Oh, there it is. My guy just does not want to get in. Okay. Uh, that was a fail. <laughs> okay, it should still be good. Alright, let's get this inside. There's nothing there, but okay. All right, let's uh, put this one over here so they can have space. And they go ahead and start working on this one here too. 
All right, so we now have both of the trucks in the shop. I got my guys over here. They're going to start working on it, switch out the suspension. And uh, while they're doing that, I could leave the truck outside. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, I'll give you guys a quick tour really quickly. And I got to head up to my office really quick. Don't mind, like, the dust going through. That's just the way GTA 5 is since this is a add-on map. This isn't actually, like, in the game. So we have a monster truck. Got a Ram 3500. We have a GMC Top Kick uh, 6x6. Oh, yeah, this is one of the cool 6x6. So this is the Ford Raptor over here. 6x6. That's, that's a beast right there. Um, it looks like we have some customers in the shop. We have some of our sales associates in here. Alright, so let's head upstairs to our office. And the guys are going to get to work. It's probably going to take them all day to get this done, but they should have it done. If not, I'll just uh, take them back tomorrow. No rush. So let's head upstairs. We have a lot of stuff up here. We have refreshments for our team that works here, as well as for customers. Um, a lot of the time we bring people up here if we have like a big deal that we have to go over or anything like that. Here is my office, which is the largest office in here, of course. And we also have a small office for my assistant. She runs the shop most of the time when I'm not here. And then we have our staff over here. These are the guys in charge of like human resources, accounting, payroll, all of that stuff. They all work up here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and head into my office, take care of a couple things. And I guess we'll, uh, we'll get back whenever these guys are done working on the trucks. Alright guys, so it's now almost nighttime. The sun's about to go down, but the guys have been hard at work and they said they're they're done with the two trucks. So we're gonna head downstairs and uh make sure they're good and we'll take them back over to the other shop. So let me just finish up this uh report I'm doing and we'll go ahead and get out of here. Alright, so all done with that. Let's go ahead and check out the trucks and see how they did. Alright, looks like they parked them up over here. So these look really good. Really, really good. So we got the stock suspension on the Ram. And we also have it on the Silverado as well. So these are perfect heights. Again, thank you so, so much to uh, Lifted and Lieutenant Husky. Thank you guys so, so much for making these trucks lower for me really do appreciate that and also everybody watching hope you guys do enjoy as well now if you guys um let me know what do you guys think do they look better at this height for what we need them for or do you guys think we should have left them lifted but honestly like when we were pulling the trailers they were scraping the trailers so they were so high so i think it's going to perform better for us for a transportation truck, which is what we're going to be needing them for. So anyway, let's go ahead and get these back to the shop. Let's go ahead and hop into the Silverado first. And let's make sure it's unfrozen. Yep. All right. Alright, so we'll go ahead and load this back onto the 3500. Now that they don't have the lifts, they're a little bit easier to get up and get up onto the ramps now. Or onto the trailer at least. Yeah, that looks perfect. I think they changed the bumper too, actually. I gotta look and see. Looks like the bumper got changed as well. Alright, let's put this one in right here. Let's go ahead and lock it down. Alright, perfect. Let's go grab the other one. That was a pretty good day at work, though. They really got that thing fixed really fast. All right, let's hop into the Dodge. 
Alright. Alright, so let's see if we can fit them both on this time. Yeah, it fits about the same. So, uh, dang, the, um, the ramps is gonna give us trouble again. So, let's see if we could get the ramps up and then try to get up with, like, another set of ramps. We'll grab some ramps out of the truck and try to get up that way. Alright, guys, so we have everything locked and loaded. We're gonna go ahead and take it back to the, uh, transportation company now. Everything's looking good. And, uh, tomorrow we should have these trucks on the road working and making money. Alright, this rock's in the way. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Check out the interior too. We haven't really looked at the interior of this truck yet. Very nice. That looks really cool watching the trailer come behind you. Alright, so let's get back to the shop guys and then we're pretty much done for today's episode. We didn't really get to go to work today, but we got the trucks ready so that they could go to work tomorrow, which is pretty much the most important thing. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, make sure you guys hit the like button if you did. And if you have any suggestions on what we should do in the next real life mod video, definitely let me know. And also, what should we name that uh, lifted shop as well? I don't really have a name for it, so if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. Alright guys, so we are here, back at the shop. Alright, let's go ahead and get these things unloaded. I kinda, <laughs> kinda left it out in the street a little bit, oops. Alright, let's get this unattached and then we'll get it inside. get these trucks inside and they'll be able to get to work. Oh, it looks like they put some yellow lights on here too. They didn't have yellow lights before. Very cool. All right, let's park this one up right here. We do have this load of wood that we're gonna have to deliver in the morning. Uh, we'll probably get the ram on it. We'll see what happens. And let's go grab the Silverado. <laughs> I'm just like stuck right there. I'm loving this new trailer. I can't wait to do some like real deliveries with the trailer. I know this wasn't really like a realistic delivery, but I can't wait to really put it to use. So again, freeze, unattach. Let's get the new Silverado inside. Alright guys, I cannot wait to start doing some more deliveries with all the new trucks we have. Again, let me know what we should do next, which truck you guys would like to see next. We have been out in the county a lot lately, so I'm probably going to head back to the shop we have in the city and do our next episode out in the city. But hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button if you're new. 
make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications we have new videos every single day and also guys make sure you guys let me know if you made it to the end of the video if you did i thank you guys so so much for watching i really do appreciate it and thank you so so much so hope you guys have a great monday thank you for watching and um we got a couple more videos coming out later today so definitely look out for those and as always i will see you guys in the next one peace